There are a lot of great games coming out in 2024, so today we're going to get hyped. Let's talk about them. Hello there everybody and welcome to the Comfy Spot. My name is Tyler and today we are going to be talking about some of my most anticipated game releases that are slated for 2024. Now right now this year there are a lot of great games that are set to release this year. Some of them have release dates, many of them do not, but in this video I'm going to be talking about 11 of my most anticipated games that are set to come out this year. Some of them are big games, majority of them are really big games, some of them are smaller games. So without any further ado, without any more hullabaloo, we're going to get right on into this list. Now the first game on my list is actually coming out in just under a month from right now, that being Persona 3 Reload coming from Atlas on February 2nd. And man, I am so, so, so hyped for this game. I am a newfound Persona fan. I came into the series with Persona 5 Royal back in 2020 and I absolutely loved that game. It is my second favorite game of all time. So I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Persona fan now. I played that I played Strikers. I want to play Persona 4 Golden. I've been wanting to play Persona 3 as well. And after Reload came out, I said, you know, I mean, but not came out, was announced. I said, you know what? That's going to be the one I play. That's going to be the version of Persona 3 I play. And this remake of it just looks so cool, so awesome. I love the music that I've heard from Persona 3 before, but here we get again, seeing all the characters, how everything looks right now, seeing how Persona 3 is seemingly being uh, brought to the level of Persona 5 Royal with its gameplay and everything. It just looks so awesome, looks so freaking cool. I am super excited to dive into a new Persona game to me and uh, be able to experience this story, these characters that fans have known and loved for many, many years at this point in time. I want to be there on day one. I might not be there on day one though, just because of other game releases that are coming out around it. Uh, but nonetheless, I am very, very excited for Persona 3 Reload. Uh, cannot wait for this game, man. Cannot, cannot wait for this game. The next game on my list of most anticipated games for this year is going to be Pacific Drive, coming from Ironwood Studios and releasing on February 22nd. This game, this is one, it's you no, know, it's a survival roguelike type game where you uh, you have your uh, your car, your little minivan that you're driving around through uh, the Pacific Northwest, and it has this real ominous, spooky vibe to it. Uh, but the gameplay, the style, the aesthetic, the tone, the vibe, the story that's there, seemingly everything about it is just speaking to me. How you can just how you can be able to fix up your car and retool it after each run that you do to try and make it better so that you can survive a better run try and discover what's going on the mysteries that are happening here in the pacific northwest area the pacific uh, i forgot what they call the pacific zone that we're in this there's, there's, there's some specific zone name for this extraterrestrial paranormal stuff that's happening but it just seems so interesting and so intriguing and i've been getting more into roguelikes in recent years Thanks to games like Returnal, uh, and then we have uh, Hades as well, God of War, Va Ragnarok Valhalla. I've been getting more into roguelikes, and this one was just, it's speaking to me in a number of different ways. So I'm very excited for it. I hope you are very excited for it as well. Again, February 22nd, it is like right around the corner. I hope I could be there day one, and I probably will be there day one. I uh, don't know what I'll be doing in terms of a review for it or anything like that, but I want to do something for this game uh, because it is seeming very interesting, very cool, very exciting exciting and I am all in on Pacific Drive. Next on my list is possibly the biggest game that is set to come out this year, uh, depending on who you ask, that being Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on February 29th. This is the big one. This is the game that I am the most excited, excited for this entire year. I just, what more do I have to say about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I mean, if you loved Remake, you're all in on this most likely. If you didn't, then you're already out, but I mean, yeah. Final Fantasy VII Remake was an amazing, amazing game. The way it took the original Final Fantasy and updated it for the modern day with the uh, the updated battle system, the amazing, amazing fusion 
of the turn-based ATB system with real-time action and the character swapping and then just the ways in which it had twisted the story but also stayed faithful to the original story as well and the original characters. I loved everything about Seven Remake and Seven Rebirth is looking to take all that and blow it up exponentially with the open world now or I guess the interconnected world I should say but still being able to go across all of Gaia we're gonna be meeting Vincent we're gonna be having Yuffie added to the party being able to play as Red 13 meeting Sid and just so so many things I'm excited to see and excited to do in Seven Rebirth and of course most of all I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with the story what will be changed what will remain the same what twists are going to be in there are big pivotal events going to be altered and of course there's also the question of Zack what's going on with Zack in this game because now we have the alternate timeline the alternate universe and stuff there's a lot of questions a lot of answers that I'm looking forward to getting from this game and then seeing how things go into whatever the third entry in the seven remake trilogy is going to be but seven rebirth that is my most anticipated game i am definitely going to be reviewing that game when it comes out on february 29th count on it now from this point on all my other games on my most anticipated list for 2024 do not have solid dates locked in they are just planned for release in 2024 uh and the first one on that list of that set of games here is going to be avowed from obsidian entertainment you know this is the xbox game studios uh exclusive over here supposed to come at some point this year not quite sure when i would not be surprised if it is a fall release at this point in time but man avowed it looks really cool and really interesting i know when we finally got the gameplay trailer last year it was a bit off-putting the fact that it looks different tonally and visually from the aesthetic that the original announcement trailer had which was more dark and brooding uh but getting past that you look at the game you watch the gameplay and you see you know what this game looks like a lot of fun it looks really cool it looks like essentially i hate to say make this comparison but like obsidian's elder scrolls so to speak and in a world where where we've been waiting for a long time for a new Elder Scrolls single player game. This is going to fit that uh, fit that hole perfectly. It's gonna fill that void exactly the way that I'm hoping it will. Especially from the, from the sense of that, you know, Obsidian's stories and characters, they're really good. They're really, uh, really deep, really rich and interesting and engaging. Like, I really enjoyed Outer Worlds. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this brand new IP, this brand new, uh, well, not a new IP, because I'm pretty sure it's set in the Pillars of Eternity universe, if I'm correct. Uh, but still, brand new game here, their own fantasy universe. And I'm just, I'm just, it, I'm eager to get into it. I'm eager to get into this game and have a new fantasy RPG to dig into later on this year avowed I'm, I'm a hype for that one count me in all right now another game here that's set for 2024 supposedly we'll see what happens is going to be earthblade this is the game coming from extremely okay games the developers behind celeste the uh that awesome amazing platformer that came out a couple years ago and we first got earthblade announced i believe back in 2022 at the Game Awards. If not 2022, it's 2021. It's been a couple years now since it was first announced. In this one, they're saying it's definitely more Metroidvania inspired, but they're, you know, they're saying it's an interconnected, seamless world that you have and all. It seems really cool. And I mean, we don't know too much about it right now. We've seen a bit of gameplay for it. Uh, but if, any, if there's anything to go by, you know, the fact that Celeste was such a great game, such a beautiful game, such an awesome game, a lot of fun. I'm expecting nothing but excellence from Earthblade as well, so it'll be more than worth the wait, I'm sure of it. Right now, it's only slated to come to Steam. Unfortunately, I'm hoping to God that it comes to Switch and, con you know, uh, PS5 and Xbox Series consoles or Switch 2, whatever the Nintendo's console is going to be later this year. I hope it comes to consoles as well, because I'm not a PC gamer. I'm a console gamer over here, and I would love to play this game when it comes out. So, extremely okay games, please bring Earthplay to consoles. I'm super looking forward to it. Can't wait to see more. All right, next up on my list, I wouldn't be a Kingdom Hearts fan if I did didn't have this game on my list that being kingdom hearts missing link yes i know it is a mobile game in the kingdom hearts universe again you know and i'm not a fan of the mobile games from kingdom hearts but <laughs> 
it doesn't matter because it's kingdom hearts right now like i i gotta be hyped for it i'm hyped for anything kingdom hearts related and this is gonna be tying into the lost masters arc that we have coming up with kingdom hearts 4 so i need to catch up with the story i've i'm woefully behind on everything regarding the foretellers and the lost masters and brain and so on and so forth i need to catch up on all of that stuff from um from unchained key union cross dark road i gotta catch up on all of it so i can be ready for missing link but missing link looks like it's going to be pretty interesting gameplay wise it's doing something different from uh union cross and dark road the gameplay seems more exciting more interesting the story is seeming interesting and intriguing as well with the alternate timelines that we got going on or cross timelines it's, it's interesting it's weird uh but i'm excited for it the one thing that would kill this game for me would definitely be how like the gotcha monetization aspect is of it but i'm hoping for the best here hoping for the best expecting the worst <laughs> nonetheless though it is kingdom hearts i am all in i'm all in on kingdom hearts missing link count me in all right another big one again a jrpg here coming later on this year at some point gonna be metaphor re fantasio from atlas and yo i gotta say when this game was first revealed i believe last year 2023 at xbox's show i was like whoa visual overload <laughs> in terms of the ui and everything that was happening but watching more gameplay watching interviews watching trails again i i gotta say yo i'm all in on this partially because I'm a newfound persona fan and this is looking like okay it's taking what i like about persona from the bonds and everything and the gameplay and we're adapting it into a fantasy theme a fantasy environment so i'm i'm really intrigued by this new ip and you know we have the story is seeming really interesting with this election that we have and we're trying to become the next king as part of this election and then the gameplay the battle system and how we have you can do like you can complete fights real time in the overworld but if you want you can actually go into and do like an actual real turn-based fight depending on how strong the enemies are seems like they're taking a bit of ryuji's persona uh, social link and uh, bringing it into actually being a core part of the battle system here and metaphor so i'm interested i'm intrigued i'm excited for this game uh, i just hope that when it comes out there aren't too many other big games surrounding it because if there are then man i'm not gonna be there day one and i would love to be there day one for this game uh metaphor man I, i'm in i'm in on this one Next up, we have the Plucky Squire coming from all possible futures at some point this year, published by Devolver Games. And man, yo, from the moment this I first laid eyes on this game, I have just been enamored with it. It looks absolutely gorgeous, stunning. I'm loving 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 the art style of this game when we're in the 2d storybook and then we come on out into the 3d world when we're on like where we're just at in the actual you know kids room wherever this game is like it just looks so so good and that is what has me and like the gameplay looks awesome and looks interesting and unique and fun with uh being able to do, like do different things in terms of when you're in the storybook or we're like you're in the 2d but like on a water bottle or something like it just looks so refreshing and so unique and i love seeing new ideas like this from games and you know that's why i love indie games as well i don't play too many indie games but i love seeing new ideas like this from indie games so i've been waiting for this one since reveal since its announcement and man 2024 is here i'm hoping that it comes out soon but also i hope that when it comes out it has its own time to breathe it doesn't get overshadowed by too many other games because man plucky squire looks like it's gonna deserve just all the praise in the world and i want it to have its moment to shine when it comes out later on this year next up on my list of most anticipated games is going to be sinuous saga hellblade 2 this game from ninja theory man all we know right now summer 2024 released uh, window which is great considering this game was announced way back in 2019 it's been a long time coming for this game uh but hey the more we see of it the more i get excited for it i have yet to play the first one and i need to i've always heard that the first one's really great uh, i just haven't had time to set aside to play it but i want to so i can play hellblade 2 and experience this story for sinua and just see what's happening because everything i've seen just looks so good the character models the animation the acting the the vibe the mood the tone it all is just so interesting and engrossing and i'm just 
getting sucked into it every time I see it. I'm so excited for Hellblade 2 when it comes out later on this summer. Uh, hopefully it's a great if the first game is anything to go by, you know, we should expect nothing but greatness from Hellblade 2. But of course, anything can happen. Wait and see. But nonetheless, I am very, very excited for Sinua Saga Hellblade 2. Second to last game on my list is going to be Star Wars Outlaws. Coming from Massive Entertainment at some point this year. From recent rumors and reports are to go by. Maybe fall 2024. Uh... Nonetheless, this game looks really cool. It looks really awesome in getting to play a Star Wars game, a single player Star Wars game where you're not a Jedi, you are simply a scoundrel out here in the world, in the universe, in the galaxy, uh, going through your story, pulling heists and everything in an open world game too, where you can just like freely explore planets and then seamlessly go from planet to space and do space battles up there and all. It just seems so cool and so exciting and like what i would want from a new star wars game in 2024 that's not to say that i haven't enjoyed the star wars jedi games i have i love playing as a jedi i love cal and getting to go through his story and all but it's a refreshing to have a single player big budget star wars game where you're not a jedi where you are just a scoundrel with a blaster and your droid companion and your little animal creature companion and you're just you're doing what you're doing and telling that story that side of things especially since the amy hennig star wars game that was going to be like this never came out ended up getting canceled so this seems like it might fill that void in its own way of course uh so i'm very excited for this from massive i imagine this will i mean we got the report it's a fall game i don't expect we'll see it again until probably summertime you know summer um games fest that season unless it appears in some state of play or xbox show before that um or ubisoft does their own thing before that but very excited star wars outlaws cannot wait for that one later on this year and my final game on my most anticipated list for 2024 is none other than The Wolf Among Us 2. Coming from Telltale at some point this year. Man, I really enjoyed The Wolf Among Us. I never thought it was going to get a sequel because the way it ended, it was like, oh, cliffhanger? Okay, I wonder what's going to happen. Like, they could have continued, but they could have let it be. And it was what it was. And then out of nowhere, a couple years ago, we get the announcement of Wolf Among Us 2. And now, you know, it's just a matter of playing the waiting game. You know, I'm all of the mindset of let Telltale cook, let them cook, let them cook. I mean, I, it's been a while since I played the first Wolf Among Us. I played it when it first came out, so I need to go back and refresh myself on it. But the second one is taking place just a couple months after the first one. A brand new crime is happening in the city. We got to figure it out. And so I'm look, looking forward to, you know, going back to Big B, going back with uh, Snow White and all the other characters, just meeting up with them again and seeing where things are and seeing where the story takes them in Wolf Among Us 2. So who knows when we'll see it again? Who knows when it is? coming out this year uh i just know that i'm expecting it to be a really great game really great noir detective story with some you know compelling hard to make choices <laughs> along the way uh so yeah telltale wolf among us 2 i'm hyped baby and that's going to be it for my most anticipated games list for 2024 of course there are so many other games coming out this year that i am excited for uh that just didn't make the list because i mean if i wanted to put them all on the list it'll be way longer than it currently is but right now just keep it gets these 11 and yeah I'm, I'm so excited for them 2024 it's set to be a really really big year for game releases what games are you excited for for this year for 2024 are any of them on my list are they not not on your list let me know down in the comment section below what games you are most excited for leave a like on this video as well subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell that way you know as soon as new videos go live i've been tyler this is the comfy spot and i'll talk with you all next time have a great one